Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Bank America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I'm making you guys another episode of NBA Player Builds, as you can see on your screen. In today's episode, we are going to be creating Orlando Magic's rookie, Paolo Banchero. So let's just jump right into the build. Uh, Paolo is 6'10", 250 pounds. He plays the power four slash small four position for the Orlando Magic. He wears the jersey number five, and he has a 7'1 wingspan. As far as his attributes, he has an 88 layup, a 72 post control, a 91 close shot, a 72 mid-range, 75 three ball, 75 free throw, 76 ball handle, 70 pass accuracy, 65 offensive rebound, 75 standing, 85 driving, 75 defensive rebound, 68 interior defense 66 perimeter defense 61 block 62 steel with an 80 speed 74 speed with ball and 80 acceleration 83 vertical a 77 strength and a 90 stamina and then he has the following badge count he has silver aerial wizard fearless finisher and slithery with bronze acrobat bully fast twitch limitless takeoff post rise and pro touch then he also has bronze vice grip and gold pogo stick now the thing about his build is that, of course, with him being a lower rated player, um, you know, we were able to get all of his attributes or at least most of his attributes. There were some attributes that I could not reach. Now, you see, I went with power forward. Um, but the thing about this is that I went 6'9 instead of 6'10 because when you go 6'9, you get a little bit better uh, attributes. Um, he could be a little bit faster instead of going 16. You aren't going to get to that 80 speed. As you can see, we're capped at a 78 speed and a 71 acceleration. So we aren't going to get that 80 speed and 80 acceleration. Um, I try making a small forward and going up to 610 and 69. And, you know, it's, it's just going to hurt your build too much because the default height for a small forward is 6'7 in this game. So going up to 6'9 at small forward is going to make him way too slow as well too so to me i found the best way is to make a power forward because he does play power forward his primary position but just leave him at that default six nine and then go up to 250 make his wingspan seven one and body shape don't matter you know i usually go to fine but for him i'm going with solid and this is what the attributes look like um like I said, we weren't able to get the speed and acceleration for the, his build, but we were able to get pretty much everything else. The only thing, the only other thing that we weren't able to get is his speed with ball. He has a 74 speed with ball. I was only able to get up to a 71. But if you make this build at 610, which is his actual height, you're going to be capped at a 66 speed with ball. So I think the difference between the 66 and the 71 is a lot better. Even though I don't really believe in speed with ball, I would rather just run with quick first step. But if you look, you know, you're not going to have quick first step but on bronze on this build. So uh, I would recommend definitely putting up your speed with ball if you want to make his exact build. But as you can see, we were able to get pretty much every single thing. Um, when you put his attributes in, you actually cap out at a 96, which gives us four attribute points worth of... Um, you know skills that we can actually put into the build to make it better so the first thing i did was i raised his offensive rebound to a 92 just because it was the least costly attribute you know out of defensive rebound offensive rebound and block and he does have gold pogo stick and with a you know 65 offensive rebound he was going to have bronze pogo stick so uh i went with a uh 92 offensive rebound to get gold pogo stick and I went with a 92 def offensive rebound because, again, like I said, it was cheaper than going with defensive rebound or cheaper than going with the 92 block. You know, basically, you can see that on the screen. And then also, I didn't want it to change the build. Um, I wanted to get the Paolo Banchero, you know, name in the build or whatever like that. And I felt like if I went with a 92 defensive rebound or a 92 block, they probably wouldn't have gave me Paolo. So I went with offensive rebound because I felt like it wouldn't change the build as much because offensive rebound doesn't impact as much when you uh, add it to builds and stuff like that. Um, the next thing I did was I changed the vertical to an 85 um, up from an 83. And then I went with a uh, 80 strength instead of a 77 just because I feel like these things work better in intervals of five going 80, 85, 90, 95. In that sense, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just, you know, just me. But I feel like it just works better, you know. Um, then the next thing I did was I put our steel up 
uh, from a 62 steal. I went up two points for a 64 steal just so that we unlock that bronze glove because we all know bronze glove and steals in this game. 64 steal with just bronze glove goes a long way in this game. You know, even if you could get up to a 70, 75 steal with bronze glove, that will go a long way. You know what I'm saying? So just having this badge, even even though you don't even need the badge, you could go with a 60 steel and still be ripping people. But just having that bronze glove will go a long way when it comes to playing defense and, you know, poking the ball loose and stuff like that, especially with people running unpluckable on lower levels. And you're going to be playing the power forward, sometimes center position if you're playing rec. You're going to run into uh, centers and stuff like that who won't have uh, you know, unpluckable or running a low level of vice grip, which means you're going to be able to pluck the ball from them. Then the next thing I did was I put our perimeter defense up from a 66. I went up to a 70 just so that we unlock um, bronze clamps and bronze challenger. We unlock bronze challenger at 69 perimeter defense, and then we unlock bronze clamps at a 70 perimeter defense. That's going to help us play a uh, better defense and getting challenge on people and stuff on the perimeter. So this build is not only going to be able to play defense down low as a big man or whatever like that, but you see we're going to have interceptor glove, bronze challenger, and clamps, which means we'll be able to play defense on the inside rebound uh with that rebound chaser on silver rebound and stuff on the outside and the inside we're not going to be you know very uh you know weak on the inside or weak on the on the perimeter or something like that we're going to be able to guard um you know all all around you know what i'm saying and then moving on i put uh our driving dunk up to an 86 and I went with an 86 over the 85 just so that we unlock that gold limitless takeoff right there. You can see unlocking that gold limitless takeoff, which will go a long way with those tomahawk dunks and stuff like that. And the quick drops off one, you know, having gold limitless takeoff means that you're going to activate those longer dunk animations more frequently than having it on silver or worse bronze. You know what I'm saying? Even though he does have it on bronze, we're going to be rocking gold, of course. And then the last thing I did was I put one point into stamina, bringing us up to a 91. And then I put one point into free throw. If you want, you could just take stamina back down to 90 and then just put those points into free throw, giving you a 78 free throw. It's totally up to you. Doesn't really matter. Um, I just like having as much stamina as possible. You can also put, you know, your steel up or whatever to a 67 if you want, if you feel like, you know, you'd rather have that steel. I'll leave it like that with the steal 67 and the free throw 76. Wait, right, and then you'll see that our final badge count is 22 finishing, 15 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 17 defensive, which is a decent balanced, you know, uh, badge count. You know what I'm saying? Not only will we be able to get all of his finishing, his playmaking, and his one defensive badge, but we'll have extra badges. He doesn't have any shooting badges, but guess what? We'll have shooting badges. We'll be able to space the floor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he doesn't. He only has one playmaking badge with bronze vice grips. You look at his playmaking. We'll not only have bronze vice grips, but we'll have silver unpluckable, bronze quick first step, bronze clamp breaker. We'll be able to you know take people off the dribble and stuff like that. You know some hyper drive, some handles for days. You know we're even looking at dimer and post playmaker. So this build can go crazy or whatever like that. And then looking at defense, he only has one defensive badge with gold pogo stick. But you'll see that not only will we have gold pogo stick, but we'll have a bevy of other badges like bronze clamps, challenger, post lockdown, interceptor glove, silver rebound chaser, silver brick wall, you know what I'm saying, gold box out beast, etc. You know, that silver men is going crazy along with workhorse. We're going to be able to play, you know, good defense on the perimeter, down low, and we'll even be able to play those passing lanes. So I feel like this is actually a really good um paolo build man like this build is gonna go crazy and then you see your takeovers you have slash and take spot up take play take and glass clean and take so it's really your choice you could pick whatever you want if you want to be a team player then you could go play making in glass you know what i'm saying or you could go spot up in glass you know really up to you or even spot up and play making it's up to you but i went with what i think he would be which is slashing and shooting and then, of course, you'll see that when we create our build that we made a glass cleaning finisher with shades of none other than Paolo Banchero at the very top. And that has been my Paolo Banchero build for NBA 2K23. It's been your boy Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content.